good. Feel good, excited, having fun. Uh, just giving it my all. What about the, that Metcalf match? The whole crowd's against you. Yeah, you know, well, there wasn't much pressure for me. Uh, I don't think many people expected me to win, so you know, I just take that lighthearted approach and give it my best. He, he's a hard, hard guy to wrestle, hard guy to score on, hard hand fighter. So I knew I just had to hang in there and keep good position, and I was confident that I could score. And uh, I just trusted myself and got. You've been, you know, you've been the man before, where you're expected to win. Yes. Put this and uh, compare them. Is there less pressure? Does this make this easier? Because the names that everybody's talking about are these other guys that all lost. It's different. I mean, I don't really feel much pressure now. My perspective is completely different. You know, I'm in a good place with God and my family. I have a kid, another kid on the way. You know, I have so much to be grateful for. So this is just an opportunity to have fun, and this is an opportunity to do what I love. And you know, I'm not going to make it hard on myself. And I'm trying to enjoy it out there. Stay loose. The memories of your matches with Pico? They were all wars. Uh, I think the first match, I think I broke his nose or something in a scramble, down blocking. Um, second match I wrestled him, he had a nice move on me, foot trip, kind of fought back, but I was too far behind. And uh, wrestling with the US Open, I was doing really well and injured my wrist a little bit. And unfortunately, kind of unwavered my effort there. Are you surprised at all with where you're sitting right now? No, I really, I mean, not to sound cocky, but, you know, I, I believe in myself and, you know, my family is, my wife is super, super supportive and uh, she really gives me the best opportunity to, to do my best and makes things easy for me and my family makes it easy for me, so, you know, I'm just trying to make sure that I fight out there for all the people that sacrifice time for me. Strength right now. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, the hair's helping a little bit. It's great, you know. Like, Talk about the Metcalf match. What are we doing about the Metcalf match? For sure. Uh, he's a very, very tough opponent. Um, very hard hand fighter. I didn't want to stand out in front of him. And, uh, you know, he kind of forced me there and he did a good job of controlling the tie ups. Uh, I felt confident though that I could score when I needed to score, so I was trying to be patient and also fend off his high crotch, which is a really, really tough high crotch. And you know, I was fortunate enough to be in that match where I needed one score to win, and you know, I think that's where I'm best. You you had some history with him. What was it like to get past him? It was it was nice. You know, uh, 2008 I wrestled him here, and it did not go my way. And. Uh, you know, he's, he beat me at the U.S. Open, and you know, I just kept trying to improve and figure out ways where I could close the gap on him. And I was fortunate enough that today was my day, and he's very grateful for that. Can you talk us through the four-pointer gets loaded? Yeah, um, well, I knew I was a takedown behind, and uh, in my head I was thinking that a takedown might not be good enough to hold this guy off. You know, he was coming off. He's probably one of the hardest guys I've ever wrestled and won. Um, I knew he would not stop. I knew he had some good stuff, some athletic fast shots. So I was thinking for a pointer. You know, I was patient that whole match. And, uh, you know, I hadn't shot my high crotch. And it was there. And I saw the opportunity. So when I was down by two, I was thinking four, not two. And, and I was lucky to, to be able to execute that there. Help me. Thoughts on tonight? like, how do you feel emotional? Excited? Honestly, I feel the same as when I came in here. You know, I just kind of balanced and uh, feel, feel pretty good. You know, I'm just happy to be here, really. I'm happy that, you know, MHP, uh, NLWC, still sponsors me. And, you know, I'm happy that Adidas is helping me out and my family. You know, just really, really grateful and uh, trying to take advantage of this. You don't get many opportunities, you know, to make an Olympic team.
atmosphere, you know, with, with everything going on, I just try to stay focused. But like I said, you know, I, I could never do that if I didn't have the support system at Penn State, my family, and everybody else. They make it easy. You know, I, I got to make sure that I go out there and fight. 